everybody, Hoktu is back with an episode of, what is this game, My Garage. We got this beast. We need to, why is it so dark suddenly? Like weird lighting going on here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we got an axle shot. That's actually not too bad. This cross member shot. Got a bad shock upwards, got a bad tie rod end, got a bad steering link, bad steering box. Okay, well, let's try to do the cradle first because uh, this is going to be so stupid. I just know it's going to be horrible. Oh, we got another bad tie rod end over here. And which... There we go. And the spring can fall out. That's fair. All right. That's part of it. Now, is this a weld in or is this a, a bolt in? Because it might be a weld in. I don't honestly remember these these cars. So, <sighs> nope. Not what I wanted. There you go. Okay. Now, I don't see any, unless the bolts come down from up top. Let's just grab the grinder disc and see what we see. Oh, yeah, here, look at this. Oh, this looks like it might be welded on. Yeah, we're at a welding disc there, but now we got to disconnect the engine mounts. There. And now we still got to see what's holding it on. So that's often that. I bet just more welding. It's probably just more welding. Let's see. Do we have any discs left? I I can't remember if I bought any discs. We got two left in here, which is not going to be enough for any restoration projects. All right. Let's see. And you go there. Let me see here. See, I don't see anything there. So what do you think that's holding that on, boys? We got both engine mounts disconnected. Nothing else appears. I wonder if it's um, maybe also bolted? I don't see anything else that's just holding. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. It's all part of that system. Okay, hang on. There we go. Okay, that's not falling off. There, tie rod can come out. I thought that would be enough. For some reason, this is not wanting to come off. Did I miss something here? That's up. That's up there. I don't know what is holding this on anymore. Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> now this looks like the steering pump maybe holding that on okay that's that so what's still holding this on eh. I don't see anything particularly unless it's because the engine's still sitting on it but that's never been a consideration before <sighs> I 
I don't see any. Should we bring it down, do you think, and take a look from the top? Because I'm not seeing anything here. Let me see. We do got most of the steering out, though, which is probably pretty, pretty great. Okay, let me see. Oh, I'm just picking up. I thought I was picking that up. Okay. I'm not... Okay, let's just double check for stuff. Let's see if it's welded on top. No, I'm not seeing it. Um, let me just double check to make sure I didn't accidentally... You know what? I'm not entirely sure. Um... I'm going to take that off. Because that's... Am I going to have to pull the whole engine for this to come out? Or is there... There we go. Oh, God. That's going to be it, isn't it? It's going to be like... Oh, I didn't... Uh, you didn't... Because there's other things in the way or some stupid crap. All right, let me see. Okay, gonna get rid of that ground there. Is there another ground over here? God. What about the back of the alternator? Did we get that? Yep. Okay, this can go here, here, and here. Wires are out. Batteries out. Let's see if I can get the whole engine out. Well, once I disconnect the radiator and everything. All right, let's see. Besides, one of the radiator hoses has got to go anyway, so yoink and... Yoink. Why won't this come out? That's not it. The exhaust. Durr. Okay. Actually, no, that shouldn't matter. Maybe it's the um, transmission, maybe. That's loosened. I know what it is. It's the fuel pump, isn't it? All right, bring it down, boys. All right, let's see. Where's the fuel pump? Oh, is that it? There it is. This can come out. What is holding you in? It's not the exhaust. The exhaust never holds anything in. not the brake lines unless the brake lines attach which they do not that's loosened that's loosened all right i guess the next step is remove the exhaust maybe am i missing a i just got a peek here buddy let me see You know, I'm really at a loss with this at the moment. Oh my god, I can't see. Frig's sakes. I don't think it's the exhaust, because the exhaust usually just comes out right with the whole engine. And I don't see any more... 
what if I... Okay, let's just for fun remove the transmission. Yeah, transmission just came out. Oh, here we go. Oh, hell, the engine came out. Nice. Yeah, see how it comes out with the entire exhaust? So what the heck is holding you in? And why am I... Why am I not seeing it? All right, bring her down. God, I always hated working on this car. What am I? What am I missing? All right, let's grab a, a front cradle for a wolf, like a K member, and see what it looks like on the ground. So wolf, 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 wolf. Uh, what is that called? It's not a subframe. What do they call it? Is it an engine cradle? I can't remember now. No, let's go the diesel six. Okay, let me see. It's not here. It'll be under here, probably. No, it's not. Oh, suspension. Let's try that. No, it's not. Where? Where? Oh, here it is. Cross member. That's what they call it. So, this is the cross member that goes here. So, what the hell is holding that in? It's not that. Like, what the heck? What the heck, man? I'm at a loss. I'm at a complete loss. Do I gotta like pry it off or something? Hang on a moment. Okay, we're back. I I still don't see like I was hoping that uh, sometimes if you like save and load it'll um it'll pop parts off that won't come off. I am so at a loss with this. Like I could take Are right, you know what I'm gonna try to do? Okay, where's my wrench? I'm gonna take the entire suspension off. I don't think that's gonna matter, but as much off in big pieces as humanly possible. Okay, that all came off. All right, that was easy enough.
open you up and disconnect you and that should just take everything floppity flop once that comes out yep apparently that was it Ugh, you piece of shit okay let me see all right let's um do we even have welding rods left I, i'm not even sure we do at this point I know we were running low before. All right, let's see here. Oh, where'd it go? And take that. In there, okay. Let's just tack that in. Tack that in. We should be good here. I don't know why it had me remove the entire suspension. Like, I don't... I don't quite understand that, but okay. And now I gotta piece it all back together. And on this car, it's particularly difficult because this car is trash. All right. <laughs> but it is worth a ton of money. Oh, my God. What are we, what are we doing here? There we go. And then... Didn't we have a good shock as this is the side with the bad shock? Kick the engine around like a fool. All right, here we go. This will be easy to do. If you have any leftover parts, we'll know. All right. That goes on there. This shock absorber can go up here. And then this bit can go here. Where is it? There it is. Now, some of the, the suspension parts are, are good. So we need um, a steering arm and a steering box. We need tie rod ends. Like, holy crap. Like, the whole... I think we have one good tie rod end. Yeah, it looks like we have one good tie rod end. So we need a steering box for a wolf. All right, let me see. Why is this closed? Oh, yeah, I reloaded the game. All right, here we go. Okay, so cars, uh, wolf the i6d and then we're gonna need steering let's see steering box steering arm i don't think i need the link but we'll figure that out in a second so let's see we're gonna pick this up tab this open so we're gonna how do we put stuff in our inventory again Okay, I don't remember how to put stuff in my inventory. Oh. Why did that go in? Maybe this just doesn't fit. Alright, so what side was the steering on? Excellent. Okay. This can come out now. Okay, so we're going to go under here. Now, I should really jack this up, but I can't be bothered right now. Okay, so let's... Uh... Where's the steering box? There it is. So, where, what... Oh, wait a minute. Where's my new steering link? No, that one's just there. Okay, which one is it that goes on here? It's not that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, uh, stop. Okay, I can't even see where this goes. Where's my light? There it is. Oh, I had it. Where'd it go? All right. 
and now this should go there we go there we are we got one good tie rod so let's grab another tie rod all right tie there we are buy that I hate this car work well I hate working on this car this car is incredibly complex for what it is like it's a freaking video game on where did the other one go there we go there we go so that takes care of a tie rod that was gone I don't have a lot of money to get this up to snuff, but there's the steering box. But I think we should have enough to at least get it mostly rebuilt. Steering arm. Oh, we need a, what is this? A, shock, a front shock absorber. There we go for the front. I'm surprised this doesn't just straight up use struts, to be quite honest. Just seems like a type of vehicle that would have struts. Got it. Okay. Everything's looking good up front here. All right, let me see. Tighten that up. Let's see. Can we tighten the brakes up on this side? Perfect. Alrighty, we got that. And where's the spring? So we got one spring here. And one spring over here. And we're going to need our spring compressor, which we left here. And this should allow us to put the spring back into its perch. Yeah, new spring compressors, man. It is so dangerous not to use them. You see these people on the internet, and they go like, Oh, you use this uh, pair of ice grips, and you do that. It's like, no, dude, don't. By the way, please go watch my previous video. My, that sword fighting game is one of the funniest videos I have ever done. It is really worth the watch, uh, even if it's not your thing. I'm not begging for views, but that that is that is legitimately hilarious uh, and is worth watching. It's called Half Sword, and it is absolutely worth every second to watch. I don't know, like, nobody watched it. It's one of my worst performing videos ever, <laughs> and I'm just completely shocked by that because it is such a great time yeah check it out now let's see where did i leave my freaking wrench did i leave it in here oh crap where'd it go yeah oh, there's a freaking wrench okay here we go did i miss uh, the upper part of this control arm oh my god i just want to No, that is tight. Okay. So that is all linked in. And now, now that the engine's out, we might as well work on that, I guess. Now the front suspension is good. We can plop this wheel back on. Right? Oh, we need a new starter too, but that's fine. We know that. All right. Always make sure they start and run before you buy them. Okay. So there's that. And now we're going to need to take this. Now, I don't want to take the header off, too, because, like, it just seems like it gets in the way when you're doing this. And pop. Okay, thanks, buddy. Nope, not what I asked for. Nope, pick it. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's just slap this puppy on here for now. And uh, let's take a boo through it and see what we got. All right. Okay, it looks like the clutch is okay. We know about the timing chain. That much we do know. I'm more concerned about pistons. All right, let me see. Pistons good, good, good. 
that one's not great. Okay, let me see. I think that piston's bad. Yeah, that piston's bad for sure. Damn it, I'm going to have to pull the pan. All right, well, let's just... Uh, can we pull the chain while it's, like, in here? No. Considering that gear shot, too, I think we're pulling the whole front cover off. God damn it. Okay, come on. Let, let go. I'll make a fall off, then. This all looks fine. I gotta get into the. So what's the easiest way to get into the front cover? This is shot. Okay. What's that for? Okay, that's off. I'm not sure why my flashlight keeps going out, but sure. Pop. Okay. Now, we notice the timing chain is shot, and this cam gear, which I think is a press-on cam gear, like those Lee press-on nails from the, from the 80s, um... So we're going to grab this, and we're going to try to pop that out for shop. Okay, excellent. So that takes care of that. Now, as one does, we're going to remove the oil pan. There we go. And oil pan is off. All right. So it looks like we got one bad piston, which is not the end of the world. But we just lost all our oil to replace that one piston. Thanks. So we need a timing chain, a camshaft sprocket, and a piston. Oh, and probably, a, wasn't it a water pump too or something? Let's see, for the diesel. So, let's see. Okay, oh, piston, buy that. And then cam sprocket nice and then time got it all right yeah i guess the steering pump was just too big for it okay this can come out now and this can go right on the end of the camshaft oh that's that's not right oh okay i must have got that wrong what's this camshaft sprocket camshaft sprocket but I need this little little guy oh apparently I have the wrong one okay let's see Okay, where is that one? Oh, wait a minute. Why is this? Oh, that's a crankshaft, not a camshaft. What am I what am I doing? Okay. this one. Oh, wait a minute. Was that for all engines? Damn it. I think it might have been the right one anyway, so hopefully we're good there. Let's see. Jeez, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, Piston that can go in here. And whoop. Okay. Stand up. Pistons in. This can go back on. Uh, 
by the light of the silver moon. Okay, here we go. That's back on. Now, will the new timing chain go on like this? Sweet. Let's get this cover back on. Let's put away that. Okay, let me see here. Oh, good. One last thing. All right, so this is the water pump is dinked. So that one we're going to have to fix. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it's getting dark. Water pump. Buy that. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. <sighs> okay. Don't know why the water pump's not going on. Okay. There we go. That's back on. Now we're going to put the alternator back on. Wait a minute. Doesn't this have its own little bracket or some crap? All right. Let me see. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't God, I hate working with this. There it is. There we are. I think that's about right. All right, let me see. Dude, stop. Okay, let me see. Put this thing back on like that. There we go. This little belt. Put this back on. Are we missing any parts? We got this water pump. No, nah, I think we're good here. Let's get rid of these parts. Including this sprocket. All right. Okay, I'll put this in here and that in there. That in there. And this can all go in the trash. Okay, so that is back together. She's going to need oil again. Oil, as, as some people like to say, in a starter. But go watch that video, though. It's hilarious. Half Sword. It is, like I said, it's one of the funniest things I've done in years. And it just... I don't know why I find it so funny, but it is absolutely hilarious. Like a physics-based fighting game? Like, are you kidding me? Okay, let me see here. You can go down. Uh-oh, what, ha what happened? What happened? Okay, we got a little, little slow down there. All right, let's go sleep for the night. Uh, 9 a.m. Back at it. All right, let's see. Where do we leave off? Hmm. Ooh, we need a new starter. Let's ground that. Well, I guess we can't really put it... Oh, my God. This door is going to kill me one day. There's a starter. Okay. Okay. Bring that over here. So, let's lift it up. Get the transmission back in place. As best we can. And boom. Therapy. Therapy. Okay, let me see. You go to therapy if you need it, man. Never be embarrassed about that type of stuff. We can't all handle everything all at once, you know? Mental health tip of the day. Don't be afraid to go to therapy if you need it. Okay, that's in, that's in, that's in. Uh, I think we're good there. Did we get those two? Yeah. Oh yeah. The did we get these? Yep. Yeah, okay. I think we're we're good there. Now where's my new starter? There it is. 
that go back in. There we go. All right, we'll get rid of the starter because we no longer need that. And do we bring this down? Uh, yeah, probably. Down we go. All right, we should probably hook up. Ooh, that's the crap pipe. Where's the, what, I can't remember which one. Is this the top or the bottom pipe? If I could see the radiator, that'd be great. Okay, it's not the top one. It must be the bottom one, I guess. Here we go. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Where? Oh, where are you? Ah, oh, no, I can't see it. It looks like there's still fluid in there. Okay, so what do we need now? What's this one? Uh, upper hose. You know, I never used to do the search function. It is, uh, it's quite nice. All right, let me see. It does make it faster because, you know, sometimes you don't see something. I know we've all been there where you're like, you're staring at it and you don't see it. There we go. I'm assuming engine oil's drained. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. Don't have any engine oil left. Oh, wait a minute. Did I have any in the one trunk? You know what? We should just pop into town. Uh, get some engine oil and some coolant, I guess. All right, hang on a sec. We'll pop into town. So take it to the garage. Nope. Yeah, take her to the taxi to the garage. All right, there's the garage. We're coming for you, bud. We're going to come over here. We are going to open these doors. We are going to buy this and this and this and this. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That might be too many, but that's fine. We're going to put this in here like this. And then all the oils, which I don't think everything's going to fit, but that's close enough. Oh, wait, stop it. Yeah, we can't fit it all, but that's okay. Taxi to the house. We can come back for it. It's very quick. It's going to drop a coolant. And two oils, and then the rest is going to go in the corner with all the other crap that we never seem to use enough. All right, so oil's going in first. Ooh, it's the big top pour, like they used to do on Engine Masters, way up high. Any second now, it's going to run out, and we're going to be happy as pigs in poop. Excellent. Okay. And you go there, and then we'll grab the other one that we got out, because it always takes two at least. You should have sell this stuff in big four-liter jugs. All right. I used to love doing oil change on my truck, because it was it was it was four four and a half to four point seven liters, and you could buy four and a half uh liter jugs of oil <laughs> so i can just buy one big jug of oil and then poof all right let's see now that's that's filled up we know that we don't have to check that okay we'll double check it yeah we're looking good there boys okay straight in the butter zone now we need to grab this and pour this in here oh no what why is it not oh there oh it had it where'd it go there we go. Probably wasted a bunch, but it should be enough to keep it running. Jesus. Come on. Holy crap. For the love of all that is holy. What? Well, the coolant should be all the way at the bottom. Oh, no. What about the head gaskets? Or head gasket, I should say. You know what? We're just going to ignore it. All right. 
Okay, we put the exhaust back on, I think. Oh, here we go. Okay, battery, where'd you go? You're over here. Wires can go in right th Oh, no, right. Come on, buddy. Wires, I hate this because there's so many flipping connections that you can just so easily miss. Oh, here's your block ground. Oh, great. Back of the alternator. And then we got to do the starter. Two wires are running that way. Where's the other one going? Is they both going to the starter? Oh, they are. But I think it's only one we got to worry about. Oh, I can't even see. It doesn't even matter at this point. Okay, let me see. That's on, that's on. All right. We should have crankability. I th oh, wait a minute. No, we don't. We have fuel line. There it is. Now, this goes right under there, I think, if I remember. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought it went right under here. Okay. Where'd it go? Okay, we just gotta follow the fuel line back. Where is it? There it is. But where'd it go? It goes up there. God, I swear to God, they set this up just so you can't see. Okay, let's see if she'll uh, she'll crank over. Runs like a top. All right, that problem solved. Okay, so this empty now? I think this is empty. Let's go in the trash. <laughs> it better be empty. All right, let me see. So that is the, oh, this cradle can go. So now we got that one back thing to replace. The um, the half shaft in the back. And then I think that's all the mechanical stuff. The tires are shot, but again, we don't usually worry about the tires. Like we're rebuilding cars to sell here. We're not kings of the world here. All right, so let's see. Oh no. Huh. Oh god, how do we get at that? Do we have to Pop, please. Thank you. And pop. Okay, that came off. I think I'm just missing one at the top there, maybe. There it is. Does this need to be pried out or something? God, that is a bear to see, isn't it? Let me see here. What did I just pry off? The trunk trim. 
get in there. Okay. Bring this down some. I can't quite see. Okay, let's see. Without trying to knock it off with my head. Should have waited to put the exhaust back on, I guess. There it is. Where'd it go? So half axle, half shaft, half axle, same thing. Okay, let me see here. There it is. It's not bad if this is the only thing that's really wrong back here. Let's see. Um... There we go. That's back on. And then we can put apparently this back on. And the tire back on. Now we'll check all the brake lines to make sure they're good on the soft lines. Where's the soft line? That looks good, and that one looks good. Okay. So this old half shaft can go kaput. All right, transmission's in. Wheels back on. All right, she needs a paint job. Uh, bring her down, bring her down. How do we bring her down? Oh, yeah, well, that's that. All right, here we go. Bring it down. Now, what color were you originally? Because you got kind of like a little bit of all the colors ever made. So, let's see. Um, the original color is 4B4. 4B4, 4, 4, 3C. 4B4. 4, okay. 4B4, 4, 3C. Color. 4B4, 4, 4, 3C. Is that right? 4B4, 3C. I hope it's right. That looks mostly right. Okay, here we go. Paint the other side of that. And this. And that. Okay. And... Was it? Was that it? Okay. Whoa. Where the spray can go? There it is. Come here, spray can. Okay. Don't do that, buddy. All right, let's see. Inside the doors a little bit. Okay. How are we looking? Overall condition ain't great. Color condition's not good. What? What overall condition problem do I have? It runs. Oh. Right? Like, it, it runs fine. All right, let's pull this door panel off. So we can get the paint behind that. Once I... Oh, there it is. Okay. <gasps> There's rust. Was that one of the condition things? No, it's not. But it says the overall condition is only a four or a three for overall condition. I wonder if we should get rid of that rust just to be on the safe side. Where's the... Oh, my God. Just, just come here. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
So what did I miss that is totally shot? Unless... Overall condition is not great, but this isn't on, so maybe this has something to do with it. So we'll put this in. All right, well, now what do we got? Geez, color conditions only that. Where am I missing color on? It appears to be all the same color. Well, oh, I bet you it's the tires. Let me see. Yeah, bald, bald. I bet you it's just the tires, bald. But the color condition bothers me because, like, like what do you want from me? <laughs> like, it, it is all, it's all one color. Well, I guess that panel back there is not great either, right? Eh? Neither is that one. Um... Oh, wait a minute. Is it missing? No, it all works. Okay, let me see. I think these window regs are shot. All right, turn this off for a second. That might be part of it. Yeah, look. Okay, so this window regulator is dinked. Okay, so we're going to look window lifts for this car. Jeez, I didn't even notice. Let me see. Ah, uh, wolf. Let's just do... Okay. Oh, window front lift and right. Okay, so there's... What the frig? Okay, window lift front left front and right because neither one of those went up and down so let me see front left were these oh front left coupe god damn it okay window left front left coupe front right coupe okay Let's run right, front, right, coupe. There we go. Must be a different size, I guess. No, no, stop it. Oh, my God. Can't help. There we go. And that can go on, and then we can put this back on. Okay. To the other side. And we'll see about this one, because I'm pretty sure this one was not working as well. Why, why you do this game? <sighs> okay. There we go. Get rid of this. All right, where's the front right coupe? One of these is the... I don't know what the real difference is here. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I think it's a bit bigger because. There we go. Oh, stop it. And then that panel and there. Okay. Now, how does that work for you? Overall condition is still not great. <laughs> so it must merely be the tires then, because I'm not seeing anything else that would be 
like again, we could have a bad head gasket, I guess, and we could have the filter could be bad, but the brake booster's good. I'm assuming the wiper motors were. You know, I'm gonna sell it. Screw this. All right, let's see. Sell this. We now have thirty-six thousand. So now we need to go pick our next project vehicle once we get rid of all the extra crap we don't need. I need something in the American muscle thing because they turn a lot of profit very easily. The trucks don't turn profit worth a damn. So let's head down to the um, garage and then we'll pick a new car. Let's see. We're so close to being able to buy that thing, man. Like, we only need 14 grand. So maybe two builds, depending on the depending on the car we get. It depends on what kind of shape it's in. If it's in a little bit rougher shape, we might be able to make more if we're a bit careful about parts. Okay, we got freaking truck, man. Don't get me wrong, I love them, but... Oh, dear Lord. Okay, what do we got here? Just a rusty... Rusty mofo here. All right. We're taking that. Because I bet you we can get 25 for that and add another 10 grand to our total. Didn't even... Ch oh, God. <laughs> Engine and transmission look decent enough. All right, let's see. Let's just tow it back to the house. Tow it to the service customer sign. There we go. And then tax it out. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, the wolf screwed me, but that's okay. Uh, if you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe, maybe get your friends subscribed. If you didn't like this, well, you gotta find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. Go watch my video on Half Sword. I promise you, it's hilarious. Out. Out.